It's that time again. Vinegar Syndrome unboxing commence. All right. I'm not sure which way is the most likely to be up. It's not going to matter much, so... Usually I just tear into these things, but, you know, okay. I did it. Okay, there's a few things in here. There's two sets of things wrapped up in here. I guess I'll start with this. First of all, I picked this up without the slip cover. They're out of them. There was, a, until recently, a way, I think, to get it through uh, the Deaf Crocodile Kickstarter thing that went up that I backed, but I'd already ordered this. I had to let go of my concern about slipcovers in that moment. But I did get this with the slipcover, so I've got these two things that go together. And I don't know that much about either one of them. But Ilya, Muromets, and Sampo, both by Alexander Tushko. Tushko? Tushko? I don't know. <clears throat> They're like... Russian fantasies, basically, or Russian epic cinemascope heroic saga movies. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that seems like something I would enjoy. At least, definitely, this one is... I think Sampo is uh, in a similar vein. Yeah, it's a fan mystical fantasy. Oh, it's based on a Finnish national epic that should be cool I need to watch those soon so those are the first two things uh, there are a few others in this part of the box let's see well okay next we have fun city editions newest release natural enemies which is uh, yeah, I'm going to watch this soon because I've heard nothing but positive things about this and Fun City Editions is on a roll, so <clears throat> I'm going to jump into that soon too. I don't know much about this either. I can, well, I'll read this one. I don't know. I don't want to sit and read every single <clears throat> thing, I don't think, but this one, what causes a man who seemingly has everything a thriving business and family to snap and throw it all away it's the question that this product provocative and intelligent psychological drama investigates successful new york magazine publisher paul stewart has reached his breaking point and today is the day he has decided to kill himself his wife and their children and i'm gonna leave it there wow this seems unhinged Natural enemies. Burr, burr, burr. All right. I'm excited about that. Next up, we have the first new horror creature, the incredible melting man. I don't know anything about this either. It's like it's in a black case. Oh, it's 4K. 4K release of the incredible. Melting Man. This actually sounds kind of fun. While on the first ever voyage to the rings of Saturn, an unexplained phenomenon takes hold of astronaut Steve West and his crew, burning all but Steve to a crisp. Somehow able to return to Earth, Steve awakens in a hospital bed 
only to discover that his body is disintegrating. Worse, he begins to develop an instinctual urge to kill, learning that this is the only way to maintain his strength. The Incredible Melting Man. Sounds like more unhinged madness, just in a different way. I couldn't resist this just because of the name and the cover. The Corn Shucker. VHS Hitfest or VH Shitfest. Number one. <laughs> yep. The Corn Shucker is a mythical creature who has lived simply and peacefully with nature. But now he is besieged by urban sprawl. <laughs> Nowhere else to go. He is forced to deal with varmints and outlandishly odd townsfolk as his food supply diminishes. The corn shucker is confronted by the bigoted old man Thomas. In an act of desperation, the corn shucker is forced to do the unthinkable. His existence is in peril, and the mysterious world he inhabits could be destroyed. Only nature and the townsfolk will decide his fate. It says it's Lynchian on here. <clears throat> It was released on an extremely limited VHS in the 90s, but was pretty much lost until now. It sound, looks like it was shot on 16 millimeter, but that was lost, and every only, only remnants were on VHS. So the quality here is confined by the limitations of the VHS format. Corn Shucker. Looking forward to that personally all right there's a little bit more in this box and by a little bit more i mean well i think there's yeah technically five more movies in there <laughs> come on wrapping paper all right oh uh, let's see <laughs> yeah yeah okay so first let's do Forgotten Gialli Volume 5. I have the other four. This is, uh, it has a white dress for Marielle, Tropic of Cancer, and nine guests for a crime, none of which am I familiar with. But here's the box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Movies. And these are usually a good time, so I will. I need to actually watch through volume four and parse, I think, possibly volume three as well, still. So I'm way behind. But <clears throat> then we have The Birds 2 Lands End. <laughs> I didn't even know. I have no idea what. I didn't know this existed. And oh, it's all real, surprisingly di directed by Alan Smithy. Because probably whoever did it is unwilling to acknowledge that they had anything to do with this. Yeah, well, it's a it's a direct-to-cable television horror movie produced, produced in the early to mid-90s by Universal. So, ah, it's Rick Rosenthal who did Halloween 2. But officially, Alan Smithy. Okay. The Birds 2. That should be fun. Should I watch The Birds 1 first? Will it matter? And finally, we have... I believe this is a double feature. Yeah. Hot Snake. And Guns and Guts. Also have no idea about these movies. But. These are westerns. And they are either straight up spaghetti westerns or influenced by them significantly. Yeah. I think so. So these look good, and they're scanned in four, scanned and restored in 4K from the original 35 millimeter. So it's gonna look nice. 
Anyway, this just sounds like a couple of fun movies. Gunsmoke filled feature for the first features for the first time on Blu-ray. So anyway, that is what's in the box this time. Boom. Box emptied. What should I watch first? Have any suggestions? If you have any suggestions, although honestly, it's going to be, yeah, it, it's going to be Natural Enemies and probably the Russian uh, epics. I guess one's technically based on a Finnish story, but those are first in my mind. I want to watch all of that. I just, I don't, you know, it's not going to happen. I have tons of movies right even right over here that you can't see that some of which have been in these videos that I still haven't watched yet. Anyway. Help. <laughs>